So here we've got the river. I'm not sure which is which. If this is the Avon and the Sevens over there, not quite sure which is which. But um, here we've got the Abbeylet. And this big open yellow blanket of meadow is where they have the reenactment, I reckon. It's going to be somewhere around here, close to the town, so people can come and view it easily. There's a big hill right over there. I'd like to know, find out what that is as well. So, loads of wild cow parsley. We've got yellow and white. I reckon the seats are all pointing that way because of the bottom and people come to watch the battle, I expect. Right, I think I'm going to call it a day in a minute. Probably just go in the abbey. I just want to go and have a look. Um, I don't know if that's half past one or half past two. Don't know. Yeah, got yellow cow parsley here. We're treated to. It's half past one, it's not, no, sorry, it's not half past two. That's okay. Bridge to cross up here. Just seeing walking actually round. I've done a lot of walking today actually. A lot of walking. And there seems to be a bridge up there I'm gonna to have to cross every time I put the video on somebody comes along. Thank goodness I did the church earlier.
actually done quite a bit of walking. So I was on that battle walk, which I didn't plan to do. I nearly ended up doing it all. And I'd already found the field. Yeah, this is definitely where people, the battle takes place here, look. And this big wide thing here. There's the Yeah, some benches face the river, some face the meadow. It's just full of yellow and white today. It's amazing. I've been very lucky the rain's kept off as well. They got the actual enactment. Um, July, I think it's around about July the 9th, they got the reenactment here. You'd have to book your camping sites cool well in advance. <sighs> to get a chance to probably have to book it a year in advance something I might have to do next year because it is nearer than going to the Battle of Hastings oh, look at that so picturesque oh look little stepping stones as well it's an oldie worldy part of town really this isn't it very Tudory very medieval, really has retained its character. Because I walked all the way up that end earlier, where those big pipes are. There's some big pipes up there. I walked very close on the other side of the riverbank, where they say the actual meadow battle took place. But they say the reenactment comes here. I bet you can walk right round this field. But there's a walk right round it. I see something really large, like a big piece of wood. Yeah, I bet, I bet what you do, you can walk right across there and go to it. Yeah, I bet you can. Yeah, see, there's all the places you can explore. Look, there's a group of people going out on a walk now, look. You are here. River Seven, River Avon. So that's the River Avon there. That's the River Avon. And over there would be the River Seven. And you can walk right across to that, over that way. God, there's so much to do. There really is such a lot to do. This is a sort of a lock and a weir. Oh, look at those lovely Tudory buildings there. As well. It's like a stepping stone thing there, look. Some sort of barrier. The New Abbey Mill Sluice. Oh, that's what it is. New Abbey Mill Sluice. With a single fish belly sluice. To enhance the visual appearance of Abbey Mill. Oh. A mill was constructed on this site around 1190 for the Priory of Tewkesbury, which had been established in 1102 by Robert Fitzhammond, Lord of Gloucester. It was operated by Benedictine monks and supplied by local farmers. The mill was rebuilt in 1793 and had four wheels to power the millstones. Oh, 
Healing's flour mill at the northern end of the ham was constructed in 1865 and enlarged in 1889. It is said that this led to the decline of the Abbey Mill, which eventually ceased operation in 1920. Ah, oh, there's someone called Fletcher there, look. The mill is also associated with Abel, Abel Fletcher and is sometimes referred to as Fletcher's Mill. I found quite a few Fletcher graves actually when, um, over near the Abbey. Fletcher was a Quaker miller who was apprenticed as a boy and immortalised in Mrs. Crake's book, John Halifax Gentleman. Fancy that then. So, I, well, I just took some pictures of those Fletcher graves just in case we had a branch that ended up that way, you know. So, anyway. This is the mill, working mill. Well, I don't know if it is now. I can't remember what I've just read because I'm a bit tired. Get those lovely water lilies, look. Oh, what a pretty, look, there's the abbey there. What a pretty walk I've had. Look at that. Abbey Mill Cottages. Very pretty indeed. Ah, that's Victoria Gardens there. Huh?